During the late 1880s, Edison began a negative media campaign to discredit the alternating current system of electricity being developed by Westinghouse and Tesla. It became known as the War of the Currents. My personal desire would be to prohibit entirely the use of alternating currents. They are as unnecessary as they are dangerous. Edison employees demonstrated the dangers of alternating current by electrocuting animals in public demonstrations. Just as certain as death, Westinghouse will kill a customer within six months after he puts in a system of any size. None of his plans worry me in the least. An Edison associate suggested using alternating current as a means of executing criminals. A test took place at New York's Auburn State Prison in 1890. Several gruesome attempts were required to kill the victim. Disgusted witnesses claimed his spinal cord burst into flame. The infliction of the death penalty is not only barbarous and inhuman, but unnecessary as a factor in the scheme of modern civilization. The War of the Currents came to a dramatic head in 1893. The Columbian Exposition in Chicago was to be the first World's Fair lighted by electricity. The Edison Company, the Thomson Houston Company, they all got together and formed General Electric Company, 1892. And one of the first things they did, of course, was put in a bid for the job at the fair. Their bid was roughly a million dollars. The Westinghouse bid was about half a million dollars, and naturally, Westinghouse got the job. In retaliation, GE refused to sell Westinghouse any of their Edison light bulbs. And they got some judge to say that uh, Westinghouse couldn't use any one-piece lamps of any description at the fair. Westinghouse frantically devised a two-piece stopper lamp by fair time and saved the day. Now Tesla had a chance to make history in Chicago. His large AC generators would supply all of the fair's electricity and prove that his system would work on a large scale. On May 1st, 1893, 100,000 eager spectators filed into the fairgrounds, awed by the gleaming neoclassical architecture. Night fell. President Grover Cleveland pressed a button, and the fairgrounds exploded with brilliant tube lighting and multicolored searchlights. The most incredible display of lighting the world had ever seen. In the Great Hall of Electricity, the public could see that the Tesla Westinghouse system made it all possible. To overcome the impression that AC was dangerous, Tesla put on remarkable demonstrations. He created a device called the Egg of Columbus to show the rotating magnetic field created by his AC motor. In his room, he had cork sole shoes on and a tuxedo and white tie and a top hat. And he would put his hand on a terminal, which would flash electricity through his body, creating a great shower as his whole body was, was encompassed in flame. And uh, people were quite impressed by this, uh, to say the least. The Chicago Exposition left an indelible impression on the American imagination. This was the gleaming new city of the future. And it was powered by the inventions of Nikola Tesla.